Hey everyone, how's it going? I got a new Zelda video for you this morning, continuing our attempt, attempt to release a Zelda video nearly every single day uh, from now, either until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out or until we hit one year out from the 35th anniversary. So potentially 365 straight days. Could be more than one Zelda video. The news is going to determine that. We have some Zelda news for you today about the 35th anniversary. So before we get into that, like this is, you know, this isn't some rumor floating out there, some fart in the wind about people data mining or any of this crazy stuff. This actually comes from a very credible uh, journalist who wrote a piece over Adventure Beat. But before we get into it, I gotta remind you we are giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card to enter. Head down to the description or the pinned comment. Otherwise, let's get into our Zelda news for today. I got my Breath of the Wild shirt on. I'm I'm ready to go here. So, uh, this is over at Venture Beat, and the headline says, Nintendo is holding back Nintendo's 35th anniversary because it's marketing. And it's written by Jeff Grubb. Jeff Grubb has been uh, all over Nintendo stuff uh, for really a while, but I've been paying more attention over like the last six months or so, and he definitely has some contacts uh, inside the industry unsure where they're from because he is a journalist so as a professional journalist you really do well to protect your sources uh, here's what he has to say about it. he says so the legend of zelda turned 35 on sunday february 21st but nintendo let the anniversary pass by without making much noise any noise they didn't mention it at all uh, if you're a fan of the publisher's major adventure series you might find the silence distressing but if you look at the anniversary as marketing nintendo's decisions make more sense when a corporation celebrates an anniversary, it is with the purpose of selling more products, naturally. And the way that Nintendo is going to maximize its return on these marketing efforts is to spread them out and let them breathe. The first consideration when it comes to the timing of the Zelda anniversary is Mario. It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> N Nintendo's 35th anniversary celebration for Super Mario is still ongoing. It's unlikely that Nintendo would want to celebrate uh, for Zelda and Mario to overlap, and it would get more from each other if it put some separation between the two events. And yeah, Mario's celebration runs through March 31st. In addition to Mario, Nintendo is worried about getting the most from each and every new Zelda product going forward. So, Skyward Sword is actually, you know, Skyward Sword HD is what he says the first step to Zelda's 35th anniversary journey. Even if Nintendo does start rolling out the party balloons and birthday cake for Zelda, don't expect it to come all at once. This is still marketing, and Nintendo will want to position the Legend of Zelda Skyward HD out in front. This is one of the biggest reasons that Nintendo didn't talk about other Zeldas beyond Skyward Sword HD in its latest direct video event. The company doesn't want other Zelda games to distract from its attempts to bring back Skyward Sword. So instead of creating a situation where other Zelda releases on Switch cannibalize sales that could have gone to Skyward Sword, Nintendo will create a steady cadence of releases to celebrate the series that will start with Skyward Sword HD in July. But we should hear about what is coming soon after that this summer. Again, the keyword is marketing. Nintendo wants to create a story for Zelda fans that will lead them to spending the most money possible. I know this sounds really crappy, but like this is what companies do. Nintendo's a for-profit company. That begins with Skyward Sword HD in July and continues with likely the ports of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD and may culminate finally with the release of Breath of the Wild 2. The idea is to create key moments that Zelda fans won't want to miss out on and to partake in the first step of the festivities. All you have to do is drop $60 for a remaster. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's where it ends. Uh, so the argument here is basically Nintendo is going to wait until probably either July, if not August, to talk about Zelda's 35th anniversary. And I actually talked about this in recent videos about the Zelda 35th anniversary and the rumors about what they're doing for Zelda's 35th anniversary and Grezzo's likely role in that. And while even if all those rumors are true, reality is that despite the rumors, it does make sense for Nintendo to give Skyward Sword HD at least a launch period where people don't really know what's coming out after now yes it does feel strange to talk about the 35th anniversary of zelda several months after the 35th anniversary happened but the same thing happened with mario and if you remember they had paper mario come out last year and instead of talking about the 35th anniversary before that release they gave that game some breathing room as well now the difference here is that it was actually an intent to talk about the 35th anniversary of mario at e3 last year before that event was canceled so 
technically, they weren't really planning to give Paper Mario room to breathe. Now, they talked about Skyward Sword HD now, because obviously if they had mentioned Breath of the Wild 2, I mean, they did mention it, but if they had shown that game, uh, it would have really overshadowed that Skyward Sword HD announcement. Now, I don't know that Breath of the Wild 2 is really going to affect Skyward Sword HD sales, because they're not going to be releasing even close to the same month. I would presume the earliest we can expect Breath of the Wild 2 would be this holiday, likely November, maybe October at the early but probably November, uh, depending on how they want to line up releases with the Pokemon Company, which also likely has a Pokemon game come out. That's why I said maybe it happens in October, like they did with Mario Odyssey. Uh, but I do think that uh, that's the earliest we could get Breath of the Wild, if not at the beginning of 2022, maybe even March 3rd of 2022, to line up with the anniversary of the release of Breath of the Wild. But here's the thing. That's not really going to affect Skyward Sword HD sales. Just like we already knew about Breath of the Wild 2 and Link's Awakening, the Link's Awakening remake came out in 2019. We already know that that Zelda game's coming, and it's not really going to affect sales as long as it's not literally in the same month. So I think they could talk about Breath of the Wild 2. I think not talking about it at the same time they announced Skyward HD has allowed Skyward Sword HD to remain uh, in the media as its own thing, uh, even if the reason it's remaining in the media's eye is because of the ever ongoing debate on whether the game should cost $60 or not. Sales seem to be showing that Nintendo absolutely picked the right price there. Uh, and you'll have to let me down, down in the description if you are going to be picking up Skyward Sword HD. In fact, I'll probably put up a poll on this later today uh, just for fun. But I'll say this. I think Jeff Grove has a point. I do think Nintendo could talk about the 35th anniversary even early summer because remember E3 is planning to do this online digital event and if Nintendo does take the intended two hour slot for them on one of the days as a platform holder I am willing to bet that they would just blow out the 35th anniversary then and that's when we would hear about a spread out of releases potentially like a Skyward Sword HD releasing in July like Twilight Princess HD uh, in August you know you go in September, maybe you drop Twilight Princess HD, put a month between those releases. Maybe, you know, the hope is obviously they package Twilight Princess HD and uh, the Wind Waker HD together. And I think there's a lot of people hoping that if Grezzo is working on HD, you know, HD in their 3DS uh, work on Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D, that uh, they package all four of those games together for a nice 3D Zelda collection pack that just happens to not have Skyward Sword in it. But I don't think that nintendo is gonna do i mean after you saw you see what they're doing with skyward sword hd i just don't see them packaging the other four games together like that uh especially ocarina of time and majora's mask maybe they package those two together as like a game and a sequel although they didn't do that with mario galaxy and mario galaxy 2 so who really knows what nintendo has planned here but um yeah i can see them doing that and that culminates in either the breath of the wild this holiday or they spread out those Zelda games even more if Breath of the Wild 2 is not going to come to early 2022. Uh, and obviously, we've heard about other rumors about a Zelda-themed Switch. I think that's extremely likely. We just got a Mario-themed one for the 35th. Clearly, I feel like we're going to get a Zelda-themed one. The question really is, is it going to be a normal Switch or Switch Lite-themed? Or if the rumors around the Switch Pro are all legit and they were planning to kind of pair it with Breath of the Wild 2, is it actually a Zelda-themed Switch Pro? I think that would be very interesting if Nintendo goes down that route all i know is i'm excited for zelda's 35th anniversary i can't wait for whenever nintendo decides to announce it i do think they're going to wait until at least the mario anniversary ends on march 31st technically you could argue they could talk about it next month because there really isn't anything happening in march for mario's 31st that's just when mario 35 and when super mario 3d all-stars is done uh so Again, you could argue that they probably could announce it in March because there is nothing else left. It's the Animal Crossing items dropping this week, and then that's it. That's the end of the Mario celebration. There's nothing else going on. So they could talk about it in March because then I don't really feel like there's much overlap there. But it is what it is. We'll just have to wait and see what Nintendo's plans are. Uh, obviously, we have, there's a lot of inside sources out there talking about how there's going to be, for sure, a 35th anniversary. Someone told me... Um, I saw this comment on the Nintendo Prime Facebook page where someone mentioned that, hey, there's not going to be a 35th anniversary of Zelda because Zelda doesn't sell as well as Mario. And I find this interesting because not only did Breath of the Wild outsell Mario Odyssey, uh, especially if you want to include Wii U sales, then it's really not even close. It's like three, four million ahead of Mario Odyssey. Uh, what I find interesting about this is 
before Breath of the Wild happened and made Zelda as popular as it's ever been, Nintendo celebrated Zelda's 20th anniversary with two multiple Zelda game releases. They celebrate, uh, actually, with three releases. Um, Four Swords Anniversary Edition. Uh, we had uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. And then we also had Skyward Freaking Sword. So three Zelda games released for the 20th anniversary. For the 25th, we got Majora's Mask 3D and Triforce Heroes. Uh, and then, uh, now, uh, I think we also got Twilight Princess HD. I think, uh, either the Wind Waker or Twilight Princess HD, one of those two games came out for that 30th anniversary. Plus we got worldwide Zelda concerts. You guys remember the worldwide concerts they were doing for the symphony, symphony of the goddess, like, mm, absolutely fantastic. So if like, if they went all out like that for like the 20th, 25th and 30th anniversaries, right? They did that in the past. Why would they not go all out for the 35th anniversary when Zelda's more popular than it's ever been? It doesn't make any sense to me. They're clearly doing something besides Skyward Sword HD and then Breath of the Wild 2. There's clearly going to be a celebration. Nintendo's clearly going to maximize Zelda for profits as, um, as was talked about here by Jeff Grubb because, duh, it makes sense. And fans like me are probably going to eat up everything. Uh, so... There you go. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo Open Jets from Nintendo Prime. Uh, let me know how excited you are for Zelda's 35th anniversary celebration whenever Nintendo decides to drop the info on it uh, and what you expect to see. Uh, I think let's just go beyond Breath of the Wild 2, The Wind Waker HD, and Twilight Princess HD because I feel like those are the three, like, yeah, we expect that. But what else could they do? What sort of merch could they release? What's the custom Switch going to look like? You guys let me know. Uh, what do you think in the, in the comments below? I am Nathaniel Rover Jensen from the Center Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll get back to you probably with another video later today.